Hi, this is Manish. Today I'm going to create XML generated transformation in Informatica. So scenario is like uh, we have employee table, which is in Oracle uh, database, and uh, we need a CSV file which will contain each record with XML tag. So how to do this? So this will be done using XML generated transformation in Informatica. So this is our source employees source so which 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 have which is having uh, 14 records so you can say this is having 14 records and uh, we need a CSV file which contain a XML tag in each line and this is XML generated transformation so let me create a mapping for this so first we have to uh, import source definition so we have already a uh, source definition present this is employee so employee uh, source definition we have now uh, for target we have to create one target file for this so create xml TGT flat file done and add one column here So we have created one XM, uh, one of one flat file having name is uh, XML target and with one column that is XML output column and data type is string. So create a mapping XML my X key is not working. So drag and drop your uh, employee table. So in this scenario, uh, we are only using three columns. One is employee name, e name, and the salary. So remove uh, other columns which is not required for the best practice. So these uh, three columns is required. So after this, I'm uh, using an expression transformation. Now create a so this is XML generator transformation. So to create XML generator transformation, you should have a XST format or a XML file format. So, uh, so how to create XML definition for this? So this is what I have created already. So employees is uh, it starts with employee tag, which will have employee ID, e name, salary. So I have given a dummy value for this. So this is the structure we are going to import. So employee, then employee ID, e name, and salary and employee. This is only the structure we are going to import, not the data. 
so I have already created the structure so uh, click on this use the different use the uh, element or attribute name for an XML column and think all the, all the checkbox click OK next so you can see here this is encoding for XML UTF-8 so this is entity relationship done so what is the nature of this XML generator so you can see uh, there is only one output port that is data output port by default and four input port one is the XML key and an another three fields are the, the uh, fields which we are going to use so shift and this connect these three fields so how to uh, fill this unique key fields this is required to generate a XML um, a XML file a CSV file so for this what we have uh, we have a sequence generator so this sequence generator will give unique combination so you can see the properties of sequence generator it will start with 0 and increment by 1 so after this uh, what we have to do we have to check the data type of the of each field so go go to midstream xml generator tab then click on xml editor so uh, employee is an integer so this is okay salary is an integer this is okay but employee name is only one so I have increased the length of this so you can see you can verify it yeah the string is having hundred length so why this one came uh, in that why, why uh, this access this definition took length one because while creating this definition we have given e name as a so by default it took uh, length as one click ok now drag and drop your uh, target definition so this is xml target which we have created already and that output will be linked to this so we can see mapping is valid now after this we have to create a mapping uh, uh, workflow and session so how to create a this is a shortcut to create a workflow click right click and generate workflow so reusable you want to create a reusable session workflow with reusable session or workflow with non reusable session so this is non reusable session and we are assigning assign, assigning this with the integration service next then finish it so let me check whether so this is the workflow which we have create, created recently double click this and uh, give a proper connection so for employee we are pulling empl employee from a Scott uh, schema so this is the Scott schema and for target uh, file we have to give a correct uh, target path so this is uh, dollar pm target file directly points to the infashare tgt files and output file name is 
so if you want to change this tgt files uh, the path you can give your own path also so this is the uh, target file name so i'm going to change this to csv xml target csv this is a re reject file directory and reject file name click apply okay so here what we have to give only we have to uh, give a correct uh, target file uh, directory and file name and relational connection this is the monitor so we are working on a practice folder currently so right click and execute the workflow so you can see uh, this workflow got succeeded so click on uh, run properties and check whether uh, all the records got inserted or not so 14 records it uh, it is it took from a source qualifier and inserted 14 records into the target so let me check uh, the nature of the target so this is our target i'm opening this with a notepad notepad plus plus so uh, this is having 14 records so all 14, 14 records got uh, inserted and each line having a XML tag. So thank you for watching this video. Thanks.